Hello, my loves. So I just got back from the beach and I'm ready to start phase two of this whole like get fit thing. So I just wanna share with you guys exactly what I'm doing for this phase two part. I've got five things for fat loss. I've got four things about my diet and like exactly my meals that I'm doing. And then three things for shaping my body because I don't wanna just be skinny. I want that fit fitness model look. So my first phase is really gonna be about fat loss because I weighed in at 184 after I got back from the beach and that puts me down only 10 pounds. Of course, some of it is water weight. I did really awesome at the beach. I cut off a lot of carbs. So I, I ate really well, but it wasn't like a, a depriving myself and missing out on enjoying vacation. It was just, no, nah, I don't need the carbs. I don't, I don't need this stuff. Um, but I still let myself enjoy some brownies, some cookies, just like here and there. Um, so weight went up, but I'm not worried about it. I'm not stressed about it. It's not that same old feeling before where it's like, I've fallen off the wagon. It's just, I went on vacation. I enjoyed myself and I still, I'm like, really, that was a good testament of how well I've done on changing my appetite where I just don't need the food anymore. So it's just, I'm like, yeah, let's go into phase two. It worked out perfect where the beach landed at the end and now it's like, all right, phase two, let's go gung ho. Um, so basically I'm at 180, I'm actually at 180 right now because I'm filming this the next day, but 184 from coming back from the beach. And so the first fat loss phase is gonna be like this. I don't know if you can see it. Um, oh, I'll try and like put the screen, uh, picture up, but there you can see it a little bit. Like, so this is me about like six years ago where I was at one of my leanest, I was probably about 130, something like that. And so that's me just trying to like, that's where I'm trying to get now where I'm just trying to get the fat, <laughs> fat off. I hate saying it, Ugh. Uh, but just trimming down, just getting the fat off. And then the reason why I'm focusing on my diet and the gym in addition to that is because that's the difference between me just looking like a little bit smaller than I am now and her this is Katie Hearn she looks amazing but you can see like she's leaner she has less fat and then she has a lot more muscle than I do particularly in the gluteus maximus that's my big thing like you can see I love that we have the same color bathing suit on because you can really see like um, I want to put a lot of muscle on my glutes and you have to eat really good and a lot of food if not a ton of food but you have to eat more food to put on muscle like that so um here's what i'm doing let me pull up my notes and here's some other photos that i just like you guys can see this is just me just at one of my leanest but still have some fat to trim and just for this weight loss journey and this video um, I'm gonna get try and get down to that lean, but year round I'm gonna carry probably you know we all all are gonna carry a little more weight. It's hard to really maintain that, but like that's the difference between this picture and this picture. She's leaner, she has more muscle, so it's easier to see. There's Katie Hearn again, looking amazing. Um, I forget her name, but all you can see like all of the muscle. That's why they look so full and fit and uh, especially there like I wish I knew that is her glutes look amazing and her her legs match you know she's got she's a big not big but she's full like I I want to lose weight but I also want to have meat on my bones and I have that fit look um so that's the difference between those all right so the five things for fat loss the first thing I'm doing I pretty much have got on lock. That's the appetite control. That's dealing with the inner work because it's all an emotional thing. It's all, um, it's the reason why I needed the food before. It's the reason why I kept saying, I'm gonna start tomorrow and I've gotta have this pizza. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And I'm gonna start later. The appetite control, the inner work is why it was so hard for me. Now. I feel like I can, I have my ideal diet plan that I want to follow and it's not a stress. It's not a, okay, just hold on tight as long as you can thing. It's, I don't need the food like I used to. So eating like this is not, is like brushing my teeth. I, you know, I don't want to like sound like I'm being like cocky about it, but it, it's a different feeling and it probably won't be perfect and there'll probably be times where I have to catch myself, but the big 
thing is that now I am in a place where I don't need the food like I used to and I feel steady in it and I feel like I know how to get back to it if I ever fall off. Um, so that's the appetite control. That's where I'm allowed to actually follow the diet. And that's all in my past seven weeks of videos. So if you want to know more about that, like the inner work and the things I was kind of going through, that's the biggest step number one, I think for most of us who are on the yo-yo diet kind of thing, appetite control, my first seven weeks worth, worth of videos, um, this past seven weeks. Um, the second thing I'm doing for, for fat loss is fasting. I love this whole fasting thing. Um, it, I feel better. My digestion is better. I get good energy. I just like the way it makes my body feel. I, I love the feeling of my entire digestive system from my stomach to my intestines, everything be getting completely emptied out. And it's just such a, they have so much research on fasting, so I won't go into it, but it's once all of your di everything in your digestion, digestion empties out, it gives your body energy to focus on other things and it feels healing. It feels like your body is rejuvenating itself. And so I just love the whole fasting thing. And it's just an easy way for me to cut out calories so that I reduce fat. Um, especially now that I have this appetite control thing where I'm not like, oh, okay, wait two more hours and then I can eat. It's nothing like that. It's just, I'm excited about my fasting days because I know how good it feels. And I sometimes end up doing two fasting days in a row because it just feels so good. So it's just a win-win all around for me with fasting. Um, and I like to do a 24 hour fast, 48 hour fast. I don't know if I'll do any more three day fasts. Um, just because on my third day, it tends to be hard to keep my sodium up so I don't get lightheaded. Um, but definitely I'll be doing one or two day fast and it'll look something like, um, you know, eat two days in a row and then not eat, eat two days in a row and then not eat. Okay. So the third thing I'm doing is I'm watching my cortisol. The past two years has been a lot of stress for me. And I think my cortisol went through the roof. I wake up in the middle of the night. I have a hard time sleeping. And cortisol is not good for fat loss. So um, I've ordered some Cerefos. So that's really good for bringing your cortisol down. Um, of course, the inner work, which has been huge. Um, dealing with things inside myself, which is all my past seven videos. So I won't go into that. But that has that has just made me put me in such a better place mentally, a lot less stress. Um, and yeah, that increases my fat loss. So um, that's one of the things I'm doing. I'll post the link for the Cerefos down below. The number four thing I'm doing for um, fat loss is just generally trying to increase my activity. And that means um, the, any little thing I can do to just be active, I do. Like if it means parking far in the grocery store, if it means parking far at the gym or any little thing that I can do just to get a couple extra steps in. Um, if it's two, two stories, take the stairs. I haven't actually done that yet, but you know, just little things that keeps my body as active as possible. Um, this is a big one focusing on increasing my metabolism. I think over the years I have been working out fasted and it trained my body like a sumo wrestler to not have any energy, work out, then go eat, get all of that energy I'm supposed to spend and go to sleep so it just turns to fat. And so in order to reverse this, now I have um, a little bit of carbs. I'm having breakfast now before the gym in the morning, which I'm not a breakfast person. So it's kind of hard for me to do, especially when I'm, you know, trying to lose fat. Um, but it's important. And I think it, I don't know if this is true for everybody, but I think it works for me. I can tell a difference in my body when I get carbs and then go to the gym. It's training my body to burn it off instead of store it. Um, so even though it still kind of makes me itch a little bit, I can feel a difference and I'm trusting my body that that's what's best for my body. And when I'm active after I eat, I can just tell a difference. So I think that's going to completely flip my metabolism. And so as far as my diet goes, this is going to be the part where I get my body to look like this. Cause it's not just about, 
um, there you go. It's not just about getting lean. I, I really want that, that fit body and I'm going for it. Um, you know, cause I've been wanting to get that fitness look since I was 10 years old, maybe, you know, when you're a teenager, that's when you start noticing and you're like, you know, that's, I think when I got my, I got my first, um, like fitness magazine, but anyway, so, um, the diet, I'm going to have to increase my protein. So I'm going to shoot for about a hundred grams of protein each day. These are our days that I'm not fasting. Um, that's going to allow me to grow glute, grow my glutes because when I'm in the gym, I am constantly working my glutes and it has to have protein to grow. So increasing my protein um, and all of these things that I'm doing for my diet are for a purpose. It's no longer just eating what sounds good and what I'm in the mood for. Um, now it's exciting because that appetite part of me is gone and now I can eat for my goals. Like, you know, you hear all the fit people say it's it's changed for me now mentally where, yeah, like I want to eat this so I can get this result instead of the way I ate before. Um, and then so veggies, I'm going to be incorporating more veggies. I haven't been a big veggie person, but the reason for veggies is it's a lot of fiber. Of course, it's good nutrients. I think I truly believe that a lot of our ailments and um, sicknesses come from our diet. So it's just good for us all around. But the, the big reason why I want to put veggies in is because of the fiber and with eating leaner, eating less carbs, things like that. Um, it helps with your, you know, bowel movements, BMs. Um, sorry if that's TMI. <laughs> um, okay. And then as far as carbs, what I'm going to do is I'm only going to have carbs in my first two meals of the day. Um, and I go by portions. Like I do fist size carb, a uh, palm size for your meat, and then fistful for veggies, um, which I probably won't do a full fistful of veggies, but you know gotta start somewhere um so I'll put carbs in my first two meals which will be the one right before the gym and the one right after the gym and then my last meal of the day I'll just have three meals my last meal of the day I won't put any carbs in um and then as far as my diet here I'll just post this so you guys can see and screenshot it if you want um here we go Ugh. I don't know if you can read that there so for the first meal, I will have 40, I put 40 grams of protein just because if I overshoot and fall short, then I'll hit around 100 grams of protein. Um, but I'll have 40 grams of protein and a carb for my pre-workout. So that'll usually be like yogurt and avocado toast or cottage cheese and avocado toast, um, or just a piece of toast with butter. I'll just kind of go with whatever I'm in the mood for each day. Um, the second meal will be right after the gym. And this is the things that I, I like that I thought sounded good. Um, so like I love chili Southwest egg rolls. So I'm just going to make like a little either a wrap with South, the Southwest chicken mix or um, a crock pot rice bowl. Um, a sal salmon, salmon, a salmon sandwich um, with goat cheese and cucumbers, which sound really good to me. They have um, at Fresh Market this already made smoked salmon which I absolutely love um, so I'll do that um, I have snack tack with rice which is just like ground beef and soy sauce um, and green beans it's I love it and it's um, it's actually like a guamanian meal um, and that's it for my second meal right after the gym um, and then the last meal of the day I will do before 2 p.m. Um, because I like to get as much fasting in as possible, but I also have to get my protein in so that I can grow my glutes. Um, and so that one will be either just smoked salmon or beef, beef fajita mix. So just beef and bell peppers. And then there's this beef cabbage stuff that I absolutely love. I've made before. Um, it's just beef, cheese, and cabbage and some seasonings and a can of Rotel. Super easy and it's so good. And so when, when I was deciding to how I wanted to just do this phase two, I was really in a struggle of like, should I just focus on getting the fat off as fast as possible and then worry about putting muscle on? Cause I just want to get lean first. Um, but I feel, I feel like I'm in a good place right now where I'm just like, you know what? 
I'm good. I've dropped some fat and I want to put on the muscle as much as I can while I'm losing weight, even if it means slower fat loss. I'm looking more long-term. I'll be closer to my goal in six months than I would be if I solely focus on fat loss. And that being said, I have focused on fat loss for just the past eight weeks. So I think like now I'm in, in phase two where I'm like, okay, let's long-term now, let's make this as fast as possible. And that's gonna have to be that's going to have to mean maybe a little bit slower fat loss. Um, so that's my diet. And then as far as shaping my body. So of course we got to get the protein in. Um, this is really just about being in the gym, which I have been for a while now. Um, over the years, pretty consistently, I go to the gym five days a week. I focus on my booty three days a week. And I kind of adjust it depending on my soreness levels. Um, I focus on my hamstrings and then I kind of put in my shoulders, back, biceps, triceps, um, here where I can. I'm not too worried about those. Once I lean out and start seeing what my muscle mass looks like, like how my body's shaped, depending on where the muscle mass is, then I can adjust and focus on where I want to focus my, um, my workouts in the gym, where I want to build more muscle. It's kind of like a clay a body of clay, you know, where you want to add more shape or add more, you know, got to get that booty. <laughs> um, but just, you know, adding where I want to, and I'll, I'll know more once I get this top layer off. Oh, okay. And then, so I'm also going to start doing waist vacuums. Um, I don't want to do waist trainers because I uh, hear that can kind of mess up your organs. Um, but I want that hourglass figure. So I'm going to start doing waist vacuums, which trains your body or trains your waist inward so some people say they lose a few inches off their waist just by doing that and that won't really show effect for me until I lean out and get the fat off um because you know even if you shape your waist if you still have that layer of fat it's you still have the layer of fat so I've got to get the layer of fat off and then hopefully once all that's done my waist will be a little bit smaller um, and then I'm also taking vitamin C that helps with collagen, um, collagen production, which helps for um, saggy skin, stretched skin. Um, that's another reason why I really love fasting is your body eats itself, it rejuvenates itself, and it reduces the amount of um, sagging skin after weight loss. So vitamin C also helps with that. So that's about, that's the three things about shaping my body. Um, so yeah, so that's my phase two plan. Um, I'm excited because really I got the appetite control thing, you know, out of the way, which is like the biggest part because that's where it's like, why can't I just follow this diet? If I could just follow this diet, then I get these results. And, you know, now that I got the appetite control done, which was in the first eight videos or first seven videos, now I can be like, okay, let's get to work, not get to work. Cause you know, I have been doing the work, but now it's like, I think the fun part where I can see how I can actually change and transform my body. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited. Um, but I hope this video helps you guys. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.